how to build a basic web page using text edit on the Mac. We'll integrate uh, a bit of JavaScript into this so that you can also see uh, how both are, uh, are completed. So what we do is we go up to Spotlight and we look for text edit. And that brings up our text edit program. I'm just going to make this a little smaller. Okay. Now there's a few formatting uh, changes that you have to do um, in order to make this uh, this work properly. And we're going to go over to the preferences for text edit. There's a few things here. First of all, make sure that your new document tab shows these uh, key features. Plain text. Okay, and that just means that it's not going to allow you to do any formatting. Um, one thing with um, with uh, scripted documents is they're not formatted documents. You you you, you script in the formatting, so it, eventually what you see is uh, is just the code that tells the the browser to format a a page the way you'd like it. Um, there's also a few other features here. Uh, smart links, smart dashes, and smart quotes, turn them off. Smart quotes will um, really mess up uh, your code because anytime you push a quote, it will automatically say, oh, you're doing, a, uh, you're doing an open quote, which is a different character than, um, than a character that, you, that, that is just a, a standard single quote. Um, so just keep that in mind. Smart dashes, uh, if you push uh, two... Uh, to let's call it subtraction uh, signs, um, it's going to automatically reformat as a, as a, a longer dash, and then smart links. Obviously, if you're typing a, at a web page, you know a lot of things that you type are going to be something like a web uh, like like a web link. There's uh, a lot of times where you may use that feature. Now the second part is go over to open and save, and right away it uh, gives you this idea here that it should be used as H for HTML possibly or RTF which is rich text formatted. Uh, we're not looking at RTF, we're concerned more about our HTML so we want to do display HTML files as HTML code instead of formatted text. Um, we want that because we, uh, we want to be working with the code not the text. Uh, and that's about it for these settings. So once we have those settings set correct uh, we can get started. Okay, now this being a very basic uh, editor, it doesn't have a lot of the nice features that um, something like Visual Studio has where it auto-completes for you and has nice colors. Uh, also in the Mac there's a program called Text Wrangler which is uh, also quite useful uh, and it has the nice colors as well. Uh, Notepad++ is also very uh, useful if you're someone who wants to use a basic text editor rather than a big program like Visual Studio. Anyway, let's uh, let's get started here. So, if we want to build our basic um, web page, uh, one thing I always try to do when I'm writing out um, script is I put in uh, both tags, the both the 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 start and end tags for everything that I do. It just means that uh, you know I'm, I'm less likely to not close the tag um, when I'm writing. So we have our basic format here, and um, what, what I've put in is the HTML elements, uh, the head and body elements. Those are the most important things for a web page. Uh, and of course, if I just um, you know type out some text here, I'll make an H1 tag. That's a big heading. Uh, this is a Heading, and of course, whoops, and of course, if we um, want to put in a paragraph, we'll just do this. This is a paragraph. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is go to File, Save. Okay, and that's going to bring up a box here. We're just going to save this onto the desktop. And uh, let's just call it tutorial01.html. Okay. Now, what it says here is if no extension is provided, use txt. In other words, if I didn't put .html, it would automatically append txt. We don't want that. We just want it to automatically save as an HTML file. So 
we save this, okay, and what we have here is it appears on our desktop. So that's ideal for what we're uh, what we're trying to do uh, with this. Now, if I load this up into um, Chrome, you'll see it says this is a heading. This is a paragraph. That's uh, pretty much what we typed here. This is a heading. This is a paragraph. Now, um, we want to uh, now add some script, and um, I'm a, a guy who tends to like to do things a little bit on the uh, longhand side, so you don't always have to put type equals uh, text slash JavaScript, but I tend to be someone who uh, wants to do that uh, because I've tried running scripts before and sometimes it doesn't work. So um, just uh, do that as a habit. All right, so if I just do some very simple JavaScript, I'll just put an alert just like that. And I will go back up here and save. You can also do command S. Now, by doing that, it automatically saves this file. I launch it here, shows my paragraph and, and heading there that I took. And then as well, the, uh, the alert that I wanted to display earlier. Okay. Now, one other thing that uh, I always explain to students is that, um, you don't have to close down the document to get this thing to re work again. You just need to refresh it just like that. And it just reloads the document um, just the way it is because this, this was showing the old version of our document and it now shows the most current version of our document. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. I know it's a, it's a question that commonly comes up is can I develop JavaScript on the Mac, and yes, you can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.